Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the JavaScript library jQuery and how it can help you uh, write your JavaScript. Today we're going to talk about something called uh, callback functions and how they can help you. Now, if if you know a lot about regular JavaScript, then this might be something that include in regular JavaScript but from what I've been able to gather I, I think it's pretty jQuery specific jQuery exclusive and um, so I thought I'd go through it with you today because it's quite a crucial concept some um, so let's get started I've got this page here which if you watch when we hover over one of those buttons it toggles font width bold and I have that set up in my JavaScript but when I take my mouse off it still has a, a font weight of bold and it's only when we refresh the page that it gets rid of that font weight of bold now this might be useful for some things, but because it's only a hover event, you'd have you'd have thought it would um, talk of it, but it doesn't. When you hover, it it um it does something. But if you if you want to create a toggle in J in jQuery for something that doesn't have a built in toggle event, it's a good idea to use a callback function. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now, a good thing to do is go over to the jQuery um, documentation and see if the function that you want to use has a call like event. So, in my case, hover. It, I already know it has a callback event but just to show you um it um it doesn't in fact have a callback event but you don't actually write it like that so that's why it can be quite confusing um but yeah let's just write a callback a callback function so this is the thing which toggles the CSS value of font weight bold when you hover over our list item. Let's add it so that when we don't hover over it yeah it, it resets it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of our closing bracket. We're gonna write a comma and then we're gonna perform another function. So this is quite um, user friendly. It's literally when you uh, when you have performed that function, then go straight into this function. And I'm not going to give it any parameters. And inside our function, um, I'm just gonna get the wrapper selector again, so it's basically all it's doing is writing a comma and then writing the next function um you don't need any more special magic for that but now in our next function instead of having font weight bold i'm gonna um reset it back down to font weight normal um I'm gonna now end my jQuery 
and if we save that and we refresh go over to our page here and refresh and we hover over that and then we take our mouse off it it triggers that um tr triggers that change from font weight bold to font weight regular and vice versa using our callback function and just to just to reiterate that we can go into firefox here um, and we can write a console.log function to say um, there's not something jQuery specific it's um it's specific to javascript where it it can tell um it can tell our console which in this case is firebug oh, um, um what exactly what um when it, it's doing what so after it's ran this function it can say toggled Font weight to normal, and after it's run this function, it can say toggle font weight to bold. So first, let's write. Um, let's. I know as we're gonna see, it's just normal JavaScript, but it's no. Console.log's a really good function, and we can just say. normal so when it just a nice little visual aid when it's run through that function it'll say normal but now we want to say when it's run through um this function then we want to um Um, say bold. So we're going to do console.log. I might do a special episode just on console.log and we, we're going to get it to say to our console and we're going to get it to say bold. So just a nice little visual aid here. Every time it's run through the um, wrapper CSS font weight bold function, then it will say in our special little application that I'm just going to show you in a minute, it, it'll say the word bold. But then when we when we um, toggled it again, it'll say font weight normal. So let's um let me try that and move we'll on to Firefox. Sorry, it's down here, and I'm gonna open up my <gasps> Firebug and I'm gonna go to my console. If I refresh. It'll say normal. I just sit down here and like it says normal like we say it in our console dot log. But then when we hover it'll say bold and then when we when it's when we ho hover again it'll say normal. So um that console dot log thing at the end there wasn't necessary for that. And um, but it's just a nice little visual aid so you can tell what was going on later. But thanks for watching this video on callback functions.